seven months on the water. Grueling weather. I've been trying to stay ahead of the storm. Titan's treasure's been bleeding its way into my feverish dreams. Visions of gold. And a coffer buried deep in a lost jungle calls me by name. Am I cursed? Follow the map. Welcome back to another video. For those of you wondering, that entire intro sequence, aside from like the royalty free footage, was all shot in my backyard. So I know a lot of you are like, hey Chris, I think you're spending too much money on those intros. Well, I got news for you. This grill is actually aluminum foil from a Ferrero Rocher. So make do with what you got. That whole boat scene where I'm in the boat, by the way, is, uh, is in my shed. And then we just dug a hole in my backyard. Ready for some real pirate teeth? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have hygiene back then. So Lee thought it would be fun to hide today's puzzle within a puzzle. So the puzzle we're gonna solve, which is contained within this box today is Titan's treasure lock. This is a puzzle lock, a trick lock, and a sequential discovery puzzle, meaning it has tools inside of it to help you solve it. Uh, it's made by Sashko, a man out of Sweden. I'll leave the link below where you can purchase these. They're not cheap, they're about 200 bucks, but they are locked, it is locked in here. So without any further ado, my friends, it's time to solve the mystery of Titan's treasure lock and seek out its gold. Here it is. So, again, the puzzle that we're looking at today is contained within this puzzle box. Without a latch, there is no lock here. As you can see, this does not open. So, let's start figuring this out. And here we go. This side looks like, this side looks like it can open here. This top, this top part here as well. Oh, okay. So we took one of these things off. I'm guessing the other side too. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. A broken key, Titan. Oh, seems to be another compartment in here. The other part of the key. Ah, here we go. There we go, there's the lock. That's why there was no lock on the box. Look at all this plunder, look at all this gold. These aren't actually gold uh, doubloons, they are they are imitation, uh, but this is what they would have looked like, which is from like Spanish armadas from the 15 to mid 1700s. Let's sprinkle these around for effect here. Look at this, huh? Time to tackle this baby, the Titan lock. So the only thing I know about this lock is that this here is not used, uh, but the other holes are possibly used, but that one isn't. So apparently there's a treasure in here and this is the real treasure. It wasn't these wasn't these fake coins, it's fake gold. That's not what I was here for. This is what we're looking for. Okay, so we have a key. A key that does not fit in all the way, however. Look how clean my hands are. So that does not fit in. It's probably stopped by this thing here. Can I open this? Oh, is that going down? Hold on. I'm not sure if I'm moving it, I can't. Oh, it is moving. All right. No. Oh. oh, hello. We have two little metal rods here. Uh, these look like rods that would, this one's a little bit bent even. Almost like they're made for pick locking. We 
there's something stopping the key from entering. Uh, I'll use this as a pointer instead of my fat fingers right here. There seems to be some type of bolt. Let me see if I can move it out of the way. I can move it out of the way. I can move it out of the way, but I don't think I can keep it moved out of the way enough for the key to enter. What about these ones? So this is a, there's like a little hexagonal thing. So these things look like they can also maybe come out. Can I use this? There's a curved side here. Hmm. Oh yeah. See, if you're ever, if you ever lose a key to a lock, just unscrew it. <laughs> Imagine if that was, <laughs> there's just a screw in the lock. Be like, oh yeah, well, here's a shortcut. That's coming out. Okay, cool. Oh, don't want to lose that. Do not want to lose that. So we've got two of these little screws. There's nothing in here. All right, I can see, I can see this being uh, put through here. Let me zoom in a little bit more. And then I'm guessing this one comes out too. So let's just dismantle this entire lock for a second. I felt something. Oh, there's a spring in there. Look at that. Okay. So, ooh, there's something here too. So we've got the lock going through here. We've got a spring going across here. This is stuck. And then we have the number 58. I'm not sure if that means anything. Probably just the production number. Then we have that bolt stopping there. So, uh, and that's there. So that's the side that comes out, right? Um, so if that, that spring, what I'm thinking is that that spring looks like it's pushing whatever's holding this part of the lock in there or this part it's pushing on one of the two sides is what it looks like to me. Uh, but what I want to try and do is move this little bar that's uh, in the keyhole here. And I want to try and I want to try and see if I can get the key in there. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And that's now going in. Now, I've done a puzzle in the past, the Danlock B, where you, you had a broken key and uh, you, you actually put the key in to solve the puzzle. It was super counterintuitive because you feel like you're not supposed to do that. But, you know, toying with, uh, toying with um, trick locks in the past, I feel like that's something that I have to do. So that's going to go in there. All right. That's just the way it is. doesn't even seem to fit in there. There is something moving in there as well. Yeah. Oh, it might be, the, it might be this thing here. Okay. Well, I hope that uh, that was the right thing to do. Can I push that key further in? Do I want to? Okay. I did push it further in. Oh my God. Does it turn though now? That key's all the way in there. Okay. Oh, and there's something here with like little lines on it. Check that out. And it's not attached to this. Oh, is that the key? Oh, that is a key. Oh, okay. One in doubt, spin it out, baby. Can I get this key back out? Oh, is that why there's notches here? So that key does come back out if I want it to through uh, through the side trap here. I can kind of, cause this, uh, here, I'll show you in a second. Give you guys a clear view of what's going on. Okay, it's actually a bit harder than I thought to get out of there. Oh, is it that other rod stopping it? I think so. Hmm. My key is trapped in there. <laughs> oh God. Oh, can I move that spring? So there's a spring in there. I'm wondering if I can move that spring. By the way, I don't want to break it though. I feel like, hmm. I don't know if 
that's the right call. There's nothing I can do, really. Other than move that spring, which I think that spring is holding. There's like a tube in here and the spring is pushing like something against that to keep that locked. What's locking this side is this lock here. I need to know how to... Because this side moves. So this side has to come out. I don't know if this side comes out. When you unlock a key, when you unlock a lock, usually this is the one that comes out though, isn't it? Or would it unlock this one? Would the bottom compartment key here turn the spring, which would then unlock the lock on this side? I don't know. It's, it's, I mean, it's called a trick lock for a reason, right? Maybe it's orientation based. Why do I have two of these? Do I have to shim them in as well? I'm just keep pushing that key down further. Oh, so that key's on a spring too. Check this out. Watch when I push that down. It comes right back up. And now it's stuck there. Wait, what? Why is it stuck there? Hmm. She is stuck. Oh, it's turning. Yeah, so pushing it in all the way did not allow it to open. And now... Boom. There we go. Wow, look at the inside of the mechanism there. Isn't that cool? Um, but I can poke that key out now if I needed it. I don't think I'll... I'm not gonna do it. There's still something in here though. Okay, so it did unlock on this side, but however, look at this. Oh. Huh? Okay, that's just how it goes down. Okay, because if you look here, that is the edge of the lock. And then here is like a, f a further portion of the lock. So if I turn it, and now it's stuck. Ooh, hold on. <gasps> okay, watch what happens. I don't know what this means, but watch what happens when I pull out the lock, watch the spring. probably didn't catch that it ever so slightly just like doop jumps uh, so there is probably like an angular uh, part to this which slides under the spring and makes it go up and then when you turn it falls toom, into a hole again and kind of like respring's up I gotta find that angular hole right there so now I'm in but watch boom you can hear that tick so the ooh. How do I get this spring to stop springing this way is what I need to find out right now. Uh, is there something? Oh, there's like a little, I think if I hold the lock this way, it's okay. Like you, you can kind of see the stem of this lock and there are parts of it that are thinner and there's part that's round and then there's a part that's like flat right there. You see that flat part? I'm wondering if I can shim one of these things through and push that bearing back somehow. Huh. Oh, no, it's in, but it's angled. It's not in straight. I need it to go in straight, like straight the way through. No, it always goes in on an angle and there's something in here. Do I have to unlock the lock before that happens? Maybe. Why isn't that unlocking? No, don't do, no, 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 do, do not lock. This has nothing to do with that. I feel like I really want to tamper with it, but apparently that's nothing to do with this. I can't, but I want to, but I can't, but I want to, but I can't. Alas, I cannot. The journey has taken me this far. Okay, there's something up here that I can, wait, where is it? Right here. I can have it down and that moves the spring. So maybe I can maneuver this in some way where the spring, you know what I mean? Pulling it out ever so slightly. Noop, 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 noop. What if I can pull the spring back with these things here? 
Okay, so, oh, there we go. Wait, I can, oh, if I can reach up there and grab that, now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, doggy. So I'm trying to shim down this spring one coil at a time. Big spring. It's getting harder to hold. So I keep pulling it down and there just seems to be more and more spring. Got to find the end of it. Oh yeah, you can, look at that. You can see the coil of the spring all bunched up. If I go like this, that's the coil all bunched up. So, okay, this might be a method. I'm not sure if this is cheating or if this is the solution, but I feel like I'm on the right track here to get the coil out of the way at least. Here we go. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen. Wait, no. Why is it stuck? Oh, there it is. Woohoo! What was that? Is that a real pearl? Definitely not a real pearl. <laughs> uh, we found the treasure. Man, that is cool. Where does this thing come from? Oh, that was the bolt. Oh, I see. So this was the bolt that was holding this in place here. And that groove that I talked about earlier is right here. that I mentioned. So this was stopping this. By pushing the coil back, this would then release and that would come out. That is pretty cool. I'm pretty impressed with that. That is pretty cool. All right, all right. So how to get all this back together again. So first things first. That goes in there. Or does the, no, that goes first. Does that go first or does the pin go first? How do I get that pin back in there? Cause it's like in here. Huh. Okay, hold on. Boop. Oh, I, I've got to like ride it along this thing, perhaps. So this goes, I guess this goes here. Like I'm not entirely sure how to get that pin back in there. Oh, can I, maybe I must pass it through here. Hmm. This is like one of those puzzles where it's harder to put back together. Hold on, that goes there. Is there a way that I can put this pin in here and like rotate it around? And what if I just, no, cause the spring's stopping it. I can't just drop it through. I have to, ooh, okay. I have to grab the spring, pull it down and then maybe drop this one straight the way through. But how does, uh, the thing is this has to drop straight down through this hole into another crevice, which is lower. And that crevice is obstructed by a spring. So the spring has to be down.
Okay, the pin is now standing up in the hole, but the spring is not down far enough for that pin to drop, so <laughs> this is not fun. Okay, I'm here. Here's like operation time. Pin is now in. Oh my God, okay. Quickly, this thing. Yes, okay, there we go. Now to get the key out, to get what, well, we gotta lock this first, which was done with this thing here. That is now locked. Oh, that actually helped quite a bit. Slowly, but surely she's coming out. More slowly than surely. However, oh, sorry about that. My battery literally just died. The camera just went click and I was like, no. That's what happens when you film for an hour. But I was right here and I was right about to get this key out. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Now we got to put these screws back in. And I think, oh no, first, uh, yes. The first one. So then the last one is a compartment. So I'm going to do this. This goes here, this goes here, and this one, or the other piece of key. And that is that, and that is Titan's treasure lock. Oh my God. Well, hot, I'm keeping the hat on, dang. This was a lot of fun. Look at these, look at these things. Fake coins, but they look real. This was a very fun lock. Titan's treasure lock, very, very fun. I'm not sure entirely. I'm gonna go look, uh, see if I can find a solution online to see if that is the method or the only method to open this, sorry, to open this lock. Either way, I thought it was really cool, really ingenious. I love puzzle locks, especially when so much attention is put uh, in them. So guys, if you enjoyed this video and if you like what you see, please, I implore you to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new here, and we'll see ya on the next video. Peace. Rock.